Right, there's the truck. It's got working steps at long last. I'll get me assistant to open the driver's door for you. There you go, and close the door, please. And there you go, you've got puddle lights coming on and off. Um, as I intended, so yeah, all good. We'll go over a few more details, what I did, have a look underneath and at the control circuitry. And I can just about wrap this series up. As you appreciate, I'm under the truck now. You can see some of the pipe work I've put in here. Um, couple of T's, the tap there, that's just for balancing the steps. The driver side seemed to come down a little bit quicker, so that just restricts it. The pipe work pretty much runs along the chassis members. Um, you might, I don't know if you can see, I'm pointing up there. Um, there's some more of the piping, the tubing, um, and it goes over upwards this way um, over to the driver's side. Just you can't actually, it's, it's all been tucked in so you can't actually see it or for it to catch. But we're looking over to the driver's side now. We'll, we'll go over there now so you can have a look what I'm on about. But on the passenger side, let's get the camera up straight right. That's horizontal. Um, there's a pneumatic ram pipe into it is all fairly neat and tucked away as you can see let's go on the outside bear with me right uh, on the outside obviously now on the passenger side let me open the door for you now there's like an umbilical cord if you want to call it that that's just for the lights and there's a sensor there to detect when the step is down end of the actuator ram there you've seen all this before but this is actually kind of in action now so i stand back a bit close the door and the puddle lights i don't think you can see them too well in the daylight they'll come on slowly as the step descends I'll just open the door once more if we have a little look underneath you got the three puddle lights on so uh, same as on the driver's side pretty much um so yeah what more can i say I'll, well that's the door nearly closed there we go uh, i'll take you up to the control circuitry that you've already seen with the t-max compressor uh, which is under the passenger seat so i'll do that now this is a shot under the passenger seat uh, you can see the T-Max compressor in there, obviously got the battery. Uh, need a little bit of tidying up here, I must admit. And it is pretty much ram-packed. There's not a lot of space going on. Uh, I've got a little pressure gauge there for a minute, just to keep an eye on what's happening. Got a very slight air leak, so I need to sort that out. But it's all in there. You can get a T-Max air compressor next to the battery. And yes, the door will... <laughs> that you can get the seat down it all packs in very well quite noisy let me just fire it up manually i've got the got to switch through the ignition so it only comes on when the ignition's on if need be so just two secs you can hear that it is noisy but when the seat covers down and it's got a metal tray that sits on the top of the seat and i've put some of this uh what's it called silent coat on the back of it and when that's on here this rubber covers on there and the top seat is on there i can't hear it i can just about hear it in the background when i'm driving so uh, it really does deaden the sound very well i've got to find home for the control box but i already have to be honest that goes behind the battery just behind the battery there there's a bit of an area there's going to be plenty of room to tuck that in it's all removable, all this. There's connectors so I can simply unscrew it and it all comes out. It's not hardwired in. So if I ever need to change a battery, and heaven forbid, that's not yet, um, the compressor's got to come out first. Everything's fused. There's another fuse here for the uh, air compressor. That's 60 amp fuse in line there. So yeah, it's pretty much all tucked in and tidy. 
I say the only minor thing I have got to do, or it could be a major thing because it's not going to work, is sort the air leak out, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um, easily enough done. The reservoir tank you saw in the last video, that's an air compressor, sorry, that's a fire extinguisher in the storage compartment in the back of the truck. So, uh, yeah, we're done at last. I'll come back in about three months just to give a very quick update of what's fell off, what's working, what's not working on it. But I'm fairly happy with the construction. There's nothing I think is going to fail on it. The worst thing is air leaks. Uh, ideally, I park the truck up, the air tank's fully filled. Um, when I come back to the truck in the morning, I'd like to think the steps just will come down for me. Uh, i.e. there's some air left in the tank so um, as long as I can go sort of 12 or 24 hours with some air um, still left um, I'd be happy so I'll put the lid back on uh, of the seat so you can hear the noise with, with it all tucked away so bear with me on that one right that's the seat all back together all the covers on that I mentioned if we have a listen to the air compressor now <laughs> Yeah, it's not silent, didn't expect it to be, but it's considerably better with uh, the lid on, as you'd expect. And I think the silent code really, uh, you know, tops it off. When you drive in the truck, it's so noisy, you can't hear the compressor run, trust me on that one. So, yeah, at long last, that's all done. Um, well, thanks for watching. If you thought it useful, enjoyable, uh, very happy if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up on it. Thanks again.